And we're finally back. Oh. oh. Right. Anyway, we're finally back here. A little early, but why not? Eh, mostly because I'd like to get some large titanite. And there's some cool armor sets here. Alright, here's the Farron followers. Very easily backstabbable. Very much so. Our plus six flambeur is just going to make good work of them. Then we have these flies. I don't remember their uh, proper name, but they've got creepy human faces. Uh, hollows or something, I guess. I don't know. Right. So there's an item there. Game wants you to waltz in to grab it, and this guy will ambush you. However, we're too smart for that shit. And we got him. You know what I should do? The thing I was telling myself before I even started... Um, no particular reason for this armor set. I just kind of figured it looked cool. That's that's actually the logic. Hey, get down here. Come on, buddy. I think it's pretty unlikely I'm going to get invaded here, but you never know. Now, I know a lot of people weren't exactly enamored with this DLC when it came out. Hell, I've got my own share of criticisms. One in front of us included. That shit feels really wonky sometimes. Prick. Um, but as a uh, little stop off point, part way through the game to get some cool shit, don't mind at all. I actually appreciate it quite a bit. That was, that whole sequence was mostly because I fucked up the kick. That said, yeah, these guys have impressive guard break for a shield like that. Guard break resistance, I should say. Plus, yeah, you kind of fuck up, you get counter hit no matter what, I think. Feels that way, at least. The torch is actually a pretty cool weapon, I like it. It's not super great, admittedly, but that's fun to use. Booby trap item, wonder what'll happen. Oh no! Would have seen that coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, when I said I did some farming, I did some farming. Got the uh, Grave Warden set and a Cathedral Knight set. Oh, come on, really? Like, a few points off. Hmm. So there are these uh, tree people, right? Um, the ones with moving hair are the alive ones. I know a lot of people know that, but... For the uninitiated. Looking at this weird shit. You have it, you don't. Alright, there's one more here, and then there's a pack of followers up here. Yep. Nothing to really say about this part. Alright, cool. Let's swap over to the thing I made a big deal about trying to use, and have a got around to using. Alright, um, yeah, I got two, I got a few pairs of that, actually, the, uh, Grave Warden, uh, Twin Swords. Good fun, that stuff. Good fun. Yeah, well, we're, uh, we're gonna play this kind of lame, sorry. Alright, both of them are gonna give me fat rolls, but, hey. Plonk. You fucker. Now, he's just a torch user. If he comes on down here, this will be very easy. Alright, come on. No, come on. A little further this way, man. A little further this way. I won. I won. I won. Alright. I'm sorry we're playing this really fucking lame, but... Ah, screw it. I should be doing it this way. In fact, yeah, screw this. We're going to fight the next two with the whip. Alright. Plonk. Oh, he's a ranged boy, huh? Now, the obvious solution to my lack of large titanite would to be... Well, yeah, would to be... Would be to just rush um, Pontiff. And get... Uh, oh, 
get the Easterner's Ashes. Because then I could just buy them, but I'd rather farm them. Wow, this is lame. Wow, oh, buddy, you, uh, you really didn't want to come out, did you? Follow a glove, sick. Oh, that was also kind of lame. I won, I won, I won, I won. Cool. I was hoping to get some of the set. Alright, there we go. While we're here, let's have a quick look. Follow a... Oh, does it sound like there's docks? It shouldn't be, but that was just kind of weird. I'm getting paranoid, I think. Follow a javelin. Light spear wielded by the Farron followers. Balanced to allow for throwing. They attack in groups surrounding foes, shielding themselves and thrusting with spears. On the final command... <laughs> On the final command, they hurl their spears at their fallen foe to give the retired warrior an honorable send-off. They're also kind of dicks. Follow gloves, not a lot of poise, but hey. Um, when a, fo when a warrior of Farron fell to the abyss, tall lean followers with their hollowed eyes quietly appeared in groups to hunt them down. Fan Farron and his watchers fell to ruin, but the followers survived as a wandering pack of hollows. So that's the lore. And uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge on the matter, to be honest. Alright. Now. And we were too slow. Here comes the pack. And... Fucking irritating trees. Alright, screw this. I won. I won. Yo, tank it. Fuck you. To reiterate, this is an end game area. I'm doing relatively in the middle. How about you fuck off? Oh Christ, these fireballs hurt so much. Yeah? Alright, time to become a wolf tamer or not. I should heal. Yep. Oh, frame rate. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. You guys are way tougher than I remember. Oh, fuck you. Huh? Now, the cruel irony. <laughs> that. Fucking knew that would happen. Alright, we're gonna lick it. Yeah, yeah, bark, bark, bark. Yeah, I fucking get it. Excuse me, gentlemen. There, there are uh, some flies over there, too. We're not being harassed by bulls that like to go chicken with the rocks. Hey, look, the only blood staying around here. That's crazy, huh? Excuse me, I'm kind of running. I can get a look, but I know they're right there. Yeah. To the bonfire. Oh, sanctuary. Oh Christ, thank you. I forgot how fucked those boots could be. Whew, that was fortunate. Ah. Uh, no. Not right now, at least. Soon, but not now. Uh, shortcut, or rather the way back round. Oh Christ, this is going to be a fucking nightmare, isn't it? I shouldn't have come here this early. Alright, so this one's not alive, as you can see. It's nice and frozen. This one, on the other hand. We're gonna take the bait. That's fine, because I gotta get close to him. I'll beat the crap out of him. So that one's not alive. That one is. As is this one I totally forgot about, because it's in the fucking corner. I fucking hate that so much. That ice breath attack is bullshit sometimes. Can you curve the bullets? You fuck. Perfect. Remember, slumbering dragon press. Totally worth it. Yeah, can you guys lay off, please? Man, I need, I need to wear a bit of optimized armor. Okay, 
Okay, don't know how you knew I was there, but I... Let's go. Yep, just hit the edge, just try to hit me through walls. Sure, it's just a man using a fucking whip. Good job for the other one, but I kind of got to circle around. Yep. Bingo. Exactly what I want. Now we're going to have a nice fair fight. Where I can ignore your ice breath. Please have enough stamina for this. Oh, creepy. Fuck him. Not literally, I don't want him. The market we could do without. I don't know if saying good luck. It's just a shame I can't two shot the wolves. That would make this way easier. Plus, they have that annoying charge to get behind you. Can you not? Please? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, running away, are we? Yeah, they've got some kind of omnipotent engine, I guess. They know where you are all the time. Alright, fuck this. I'm sick of this. Uh -oh. no, that's right, we can't lock on from this range. That would be cool. I gotta roll up the way he's like. One more should do it. Good point. Okay, so the flies are down there. We've got one, two, and three. And there's a bunch more on the hillside. That said. Let's see what happens if we piss one off. Uh -oh. Alright, back you fly fuckers. Get! Alright, now we might have a good vantage point to snipe these. These uh, tree people. Okay, this is gonna take 11 hours or so. Don't you poise through this, you shit. Yep. Cool and normal. Okay, well, we have good range at least. I hate this fire so much. Where the hell are they? There we go. Oh, this, was a, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. This is going to tank it a little better as consequence. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, it's one of these episodes. One of these parts. Except running... Unlike running through the fucking nightmare front... Uh, what was it called? The Hunter's Nightmare. This is incredibly lame. That at least had some excitement to it. I think his mate's one. Alright, faster weapon would probably be better, but I've got a great sword on Flamberge. Ah. Worth it. Ah. Man, fucking Lothric's, um, what, faith-based soul, um, Soul mass is a lot easier to deal with compared to that. I do it. We have dog. We must be afraid of dog. We must be cautious of dog. Fear dog con. Jump for the grab. Jump. on the skull. How fitting. Yeah, boy. Yeah, this was a mistake coming. We can get in and kill the wolfies nice and fast. Fantastic. Oh. was asleep at the proverbial wheel. Alright, let's see if we can wake up wolf pack. Bonk. 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 And bonk. Yeah, not a lot of uh, uh, development to talk about here. Don't really know what happened with this DLC, so to speak. Um, not as much documented, I believe, compared to the uh, base game. 
You guys take no extra damage for the headshots. We know you're trees, but fuck off. Um, Painted Wall. Pretty cool. Um, obviously a homage to the original Painted Wall from Dark Souls 1. Not as interesting, I guess so. The fact that there are Viking Knights here is probably the most interesting bit of lore. Um, they have cool shield. Yeah, cool shield. Cool axes. Cool armor in general. In that regard, it's rad. This is just a slow, boring part of this. Wow, 17 minutes already. Fuck. This is gonna be, gonna be one of those sessions. And we are just off being able to free shot from that blue charge right there. Right, this is all gonna be from, for nothing. If we die to Big Wolf. Alright. They're gonna be the tough ones down there. There's a big pack of them. There's a couple round here. I can't remember if alluring skulls work or not. I think they do, ironically enough. Honk. I want you and your pack to come over here. Back to come over, but not like this. Okay, let's see how many. Uh oh, this might be a problem. This might be more than I can take. Aha! Damn, you're so clever right now. Very bad blow up in my face. Let's heal up. Oh, I was going to get stuck. Back in place. Back! The greedy R2 saved me. That would have been way too many to deal with once. Look at them opposing. They must reach the Jojo's. And you know, so on and so forth. Alright. Yep, there we go. Alright, cut that shit out. The dogs are really well programmed, though, in how they work as a pack. Um, how many woke up? There's a few round there. There's a friend round here. Rust of coins. We have plenty of those, thankfully. I think these guys just give moss fruit, so it's nothing really amazing. Sadly enough. <laughs> I don't want to aggro the trees. I don't want to give more axe. I don't want to deal with this shit. Fucking wolf. Speaking of wolves, there's Big Boy. Don't know where the Andre 3000 complimented lurks, but I dare fear that wolf would be a snazzy aggressor. Alright. We have those guys up on the hill to take care of. Oh boy. There should be a few of them, not many. If we can take this wolf out with four arrows. Easy. Okay, now there's bound to be one more. Oh, I wish I had my bandit knife up to plus six. Yep. Come on. Ironically, the composite bow would probably be much better for this. Come on. Okay. You're a clever pooch, apparently. Um, there is a pack of them up here over by some Millwood Knights. Who are Millwood Knights? Uh, <laughs> who are Millwood Knights? Fucking wankers, that's who. Oh, shit. Excuse me one sec, I might have to uh, quit out in a moment. Depending on how bad this gets. Let's just run so we can separate them. Big Wolf will follow you to the bridge. I wear all these cool. Oh, there we are. Big Wolf will fight it right. twice around here. We're probably going to get it to half a I'm pretty well good. As you can see, Lambo is probably the same here. Whip is probably too slow. Like gets it. 
Oh, wait, really? Hell yeah. Bleed proc. Never underestimate. Underestimate it, yeah. Never underestimate it. Let's just do a quick check. Composite is stronger. Um, Ferris just has better range. Alright, no tree people there, thankfully. Two, two, two Millwood Knights guarding the Great Bow and a couple of puppers. Let's fuck the puppers up now because I want to try to do this in one go and hopefully not die. There's a couple of tree wankers up there, but yeah, tree wankers, that's their appropriate law name now, I suppose. Um, followers of Londor and such. Actually, let's just do this. Not taking a bait, huh? Gun yeah, fucking you, but. Uh oh, you're not the one I wanted to aggro. They can and will totally hit you from here to get a chance. Now, there's one more poocher. Yeah, I get it. You're pissy because they hit you with an arrow. Man, I wish I had bought some poison arrows or patches. That would have this would have made this way funnier. All right, there's one there. I've got no chance of hitting him from this angle, so fuck it. All right, so that's a Millwood Knight. They're uh, they're fun. Not really. Eh, normally when I play through this level, I just kind of quit out um, on the wolf to start. So, they're alive. That's the important part. You can backstab these guys. I forget which way it turns, but thankfully... Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have shield bash, huh? Uh, that's cool. I wish I had a shield bash. Alright. Come on. Got him. That is not as much as I was hoping. But we will bleed him eventually. They're way more prone to staggering than you'd gather given their big size. That was meant to be a kick. As was that. Yep. How about a repost? I know that was him. I just want to check if there were no dogs around. Woo! Okay. TV gems. So I can farm these guys and the followers for large shards. There's a sniper right there. There are a bunch of them lurking around. I'd rather just get up there as fast as we can. But first of all, let's give this a shot. My bandit knife. If I hit. Can these guys be bled? This is important knowledge to learn because I've never actually checked. It appears they cannot be bled, which makes sense because they are trees. Kind of stands to reason, I guess, but... Yeah, you know, scientific discoveries and all that. Worthwhile endeavors. Sniper will see me. Now, is this... Yep, that's the one. He's right there. There is a Millwood Knight walking around with some goodies. Um, with a big fucking hammer. Um, if we're fast enough, Wolf Chan won't see us. We will also be ambushed by Wolf Pack up there, but... We'll just... Yeah, cool, cool. Nice and safe. Blessing ahead indeed. Something I totally forgot about, well, never really knew about until... Was it last year? A bit prior? Something like that. Probably would have been end of 2019. One of two guaranteed blessed gems. Um, there's probably another later in the game. But early game, those are your two options. Here in Cathedral. Normal oh, this guy aggros. Like such. Yeah, how about you fuck off with that hitbox? <laughs> Prick. Yeah, that's their weapon art charge. Makes sense, because they're actually using weapon art shields. Uh, there is a crystal lizard down there, too. Get fucked. Will he survive? No, he died. Item down there, though. Good fun. Totally what I want to have to deal with. Lizard is there. The Oak Shield? Gives regen. Um, Charbron Shield, used by Millwood Knights, slow, slowly gives HP back. 
The shield appears to be blessed by a great, if faded, image of the ethereal oak. This is what a lot of the tryhards will use for invasions early on. Which is why I'm using it now. Oh, and I won. We don't actually have to kill the knight down there, but if we can, would be preferable. That said, any HP regen for invasions is more welcome. Alright. Let's play a fun game. Let's see if we can bait him to fall down. If not, oh well, how tragic. Guess we'll have to fight him later. And by fight him, I mean not at all. I just like him gone. I might do that whole area down there. I uh, want him a bit stronger. Because this seems a bit rough. Seems a little rougher than I remember. Ah, uh, true rough riders over there. Rest in peace, DMX. I listened to like five of your songs. I'll date this episode nicely. So there's the bridge. There's our little uh, church round back. Ah, oh, big, big area. Oh, probably sizable enough for a boss fight. Hmm, curious. Anyway, that'll be large soul of a weary warrior. This will be the captain's ashes. And down here will be a weapon. It is the Millwood Battle Axe. Let's have a look, shall we? I know people swear by this, but I prefer just the standard war cry. I don't, re I don't really like the charge, but eh. Battle axe wielded by Millwood Knights. Its blade is blessed by the symbol of the ethereal oak. A hefty axe, normally wielded by the mightiest of warriors. You know, because that's why it requires 15 strength. You need to be mighty to wield it. Um, unique war cry of the Millwood Knights. Entailed a leap straight, straight toward the enemy and a fearsome roar. It's all kind of just a show, though, let's be honest. They're probably deeply insecure. Um, Umbral Ash of the Captain of the Millwood Knights. With this, the Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. Long ago, when the Millwood Knights lost the forest they called home, they began a journey so long that even thoughts of their sworn enemy washed away, replaced by a vision of a cold, brittle wood. And yeah, I've got these. I'm pretty sure I looked at them to some degree, but I'll read them later on. Probably before I turn them into Carla, but yeah, if I forget, I forget. You're not missing much. Just go to a wiki. My voice doesn't really add much. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. They regen because of a shield. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can just sneak past. Yep. See you later, fuckers. Just give me a sec. Yeah, he is not coming. Perfect. I'd like to keep regening, but I'd rather my bigger, better shield on. Alright. Wolfie's there. Can we get this item? I don't... F yeah, no, it's always in a shitty spot. Alright, so there's a soul there. There's a gem at the very end, I believe. And there's maybe one item down there. Not looking forward to that. Um, if I'm going to fight the wolf pack, I'm going to have to shoot them one by one, unfortunately. It'd be really fucking lame. So, my plan right now is to run over, get the bow, and see how this goes. I don't actually need to kill anything, I just gotta make it out of here alive. That's the hard part. So, there's at least three or four trees. Gotta keep... Oh, <laughs> gotta be aware of them. These guys spawn in, um, it's kinda weird. Hey dogs, excuse me. Yeah? Uh-huh. Beautiful. Hey, there's an item down here I forgot. There's probably a second, I think. Yeah, so that's what their bows do. Oh, moss fruit. Moss fruit. Yay. Not quite common fruit, but it's moss fruit. Um, I feel like there's an item down here. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, come on, fuckboy. Have a giggle. We'll pop this back on for now. I'm feeling brave enough to try to fight the others. Yeah, 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 you piss. Whoa, what the hell? What are you, what are you fucking arrows laced with? That's physical damage. What are you doing? Bastards. Okay, so there's that item taunting me. 
There's me walking down the corridor with my cats. That's actually how it fucking looks sometimes. Except I have two flanking me. Sometimes a third. Um, I don't really want to take him just yet. I want to see what his pathing's going to do. Nothing to worry about here. If I can separate them, that'd be ideal. I'm pretty sure the Millwood Knight's going to aggro no matter what I do. So let's get the Ferris bow and make some distance. The wolf will get to me way faster. Alright, let's plonk him. Yep, fucking called it. Alright, so let's use this wall to our advantage. Well, you're fast. He's fast. Uh huh. Alright, red. Now he's gonna be stuck in the wall for a sec, so we have a moment. Yep, he's doing it. So, Quake Stone Hammer. Um, kind of an underwhelming great hammer in most respects. Pretty cool, though. Its weapon art lets you do exactly what he's doing. Uh, let's see, can we wall hack you like this? Uh, probably not. I mean, we can, it's just not worth the extra damage. This is way easier. Yep. If I'm here at fucking level 49 with plus 6 weapons, I'm cheesing this. I'm not fighting this dickhead, honestly. The one guarding his hammer, I will, will definitely not fight, honestly, either. He's trying to, he's trying to play my game now. Now you know why I like whips so much. It's okay, I'm a coward too. Alright, we gotta get like two more good ones in. A macho man over here is dead. You're going nowhere, brother. Heavy gems. Not what I want, but hey, it'll do. Okay. Now, there's that one Millwood Knight and there's the dog and compadre. So let's have a look at their pathing. Good chance they see me. Hell, there's a good chance they fucking placed a trigger here so he aggroes. I'm with bones. Uh-oh. Okay. Doesn't look like there's a way out of this. I think if we go this way, we might just avoid the vision cone. Yep. Yep. Almost. Alright. Yeah, I know. Fuck you, dog. Get out of here. Oh, he's trying to flank me, huh? Yep. That's unfair. You can't do that to me. Oh, he can just walk over it, though. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright. He's gonna stay aggro for a while, so we might as well just deal with him. So that's the charge. Of course. Alright. Oh, panic roll. That was an honest to god panic roll. I haven't fought these guys like this for a while. That, on the other hand, not entirely sure what I was going for. You guys aren't too hard to backstab, actually. I've just got to not panic and get greedy. Even though the greed helped me substantially. Uh huh. Just recover. Oh, come on, you were guarding. That should have been a break. Bingo. Ah, beautiful. Okay, and there's one guy left. Ah, uh, we can't really get any crits on him bar backstabs. But that's not going to be very useful, so we might as well pop... Where is it? Aldrich Sapphire. And we still have the good roll. Yep. I don't want to take care of him because, well, you know, going to be dealing with the dogs. Yep. Yeah. One. What else you got, man? Come on, this is embarrassing. You're letting a whip user troll with fucking. Oh. <coughs> Oh my god, that was beautiful. 
I was talking mad shit. Little did I forget, strength users can wall hack too if they know what they're doing. Won't, won't be fooled again. Okay, now that one was kind of shitty. Let's be honest. Nope. I have spear range, fucker. Okay, let's do this. Oh, then we're done with this fucking accursed snowfield. Okay, so you can take the dogs out one by one. They won't trigger as a pack, thankfully. At worst, maybe two will, but I'm pretty sure they don't. And they all take full damage, so this will this will make it way more manageable. If we take no damage, we should regen most of it. I'm not coming forward. You're coming to me. Honk. Yeah, what do you say to that? Yeah, I can growl too. Grr. That's most of them, if not all. There's one or two I know that are definitely hiding up there. Oh, come on, where are you? Did you fucking fall down the cliff? No way that happened. Where is he? I mean, we've done all we can. If this gets too rough, I'm just gonna come back. Okay, we're not being evaded. That's the important part. Inch along very carefully. The wolf piece the fuck out. Oh. Died, huh? Alright, that's the call to battle. Any of you guys left? No, just the one, huh? This big boy. Yep. Straight through my shield. Yep. Yep. Uh huh, you don't say, huh? That's a, that's a very interesting story. The fact that you can just do that. Definitely cool how you just ignore my block. So a reminder that even when you're under level, well especially when you're under level, lead is a godsend. There is a reason I can beat Lorien and Lothric at plus one with a bandit knight. It's not because it's particularly amazing, even though, yeah, I like that weapon quite a bit. Hooray! Hell yeah! Ten of them bad boys. Fantastic. Not quite ideal, but that's great! Perfect! Take the plunge, you won't die. Alright, and this ends part one, I guess. Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, excuse me one second. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we won't die from this, but... We take damage this time round. Got it. Yeah, it's the snowbank that uh, saves us the first time. Man, gets... Yeah, we get... Let's try that again. It'd suck to get invaded now. Man, if one wolf was waiting to ambush me right here, that'd be fucking amazing. Hats off to that one dog. Alright, let's kill myself, probably. Good. That shouldn't have killed me. Don't know why I was even going to entertain that idea. Alright, so there's two ways to go. One is over here. To the church. The other is down there to that crystal lizard that runs off a cliff because it's a fucking genius. There's also a third way which leads to a snake eater ladder. Which gets us just over there on that little ridge near the item. Um... Yeah. Not looking forward to doing the bottom part. The fucking ice crabs. Ugh. Alright, here we go. So yeah, this is where the Corvians live. Um, some are a little more bird-like than others. I don't entirely understand the uh, evolutionary divergence, to be completely honest. But hey, we don't judge. Some people are more like birds. Some people are more like... Um, whatever the normal Corvians are like. 
People with wings, they get pissed off. Hollow gem, the first one in the game. Oh, wait, second one. What am I saying? This is the one near Ke uh, Farron Keep. Yep, a stone plentiful in Londor. Used to make hollow weapons. Too bad you have to beat most of the game to be able to make them. Hey, who are you, cool man? What's your name? Well... You look to be unkindled. No bell tolls. And yet you've slipped into the painting. Oh, no matter. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. What's keeping you? Go on. Right inside. Show respect. And let Lady Frida speak to you. I know it's caves meant to be What's billowing. Sure. Um, in fact, I don't think it normally looks like that. I could be wrong, but that looks like it might be a bit of a bug. That's kind of weird. He said it's pretty rad though. Helmet's a little small. Um, on your character, on our character at least. For him too, I guess. Huh. Maybe we'll come through there later. And sound. A flailing, perhaps. Hey, who are you, Lady Frida? Ruin that surprise? Welcome to the painted world of Ariandel. I am Frida. I have long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. But forlorn thou seemest not, Ashen One. I know not the missteps which led thee to this painted world. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee, the bonfire here in this room. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. Ah, yes. There is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. Ours is a chance encounter, to be sure. But perhaps it was meant to be? Let this be a remembrance of this cold world. A thing to help thee bear thy duty. Now, return from whence thou camest. Thou'st a place in that world, and that alone is cause to rejoice. Now, thou. She really wants us gone. What do we say? Visions of love. You bastard ahead. Time for beating to a pulp in more ways than one. Nothing behind there. We'll head upstairs. Not that there's anything to show off right now. Yep, yeah, uh, that lovely uh, Kirk's um, skirt, I guess you'd call it. Uh huh. You're talking about the painting or the lighting? I'm going to shoot in the lighting because this is where it gets a little weird if you're not. Yeah, look, I hate, I secretly hate art, alright? I never put time in a lure and art well enough. The fuck were you fighting? Oh, no, okay, no, you were just dicking around. Beautiful. Alright, well, we're going to head back. Um, I'm going to make a brief cut. But let's go turn in the ashes and see what we get as consequence, and then we'll head back to this. Gracious, passing that either. Yes, yeah, same dialogue as always. Well, some refined gems, a tight night scale, no new weapons. However, the mill would set. Which is pretty rad and used by a variety of twinks. Because of course it is. And Millwood Great Arrows. The only way to get some until, well, after Pontiff. So, yeah. You could do worse. Probably going to take a quick break after this. Um, stop recording and all that. And we'll just work some shit out. But, here's the Millwood set. Pretty rad defensively. Heavy as fuck though. Whoops. Um, 
Char Bronze. Part, insert part name here, I guess. Worn by Knights of Millwood. When the fabled Millwood Forest was discovered, it was a vacant ruin. The only, only thing left was the ethereal oak. Stood rotting. No corpses were discovered, yet their belongings lay neatly on the ground. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, blessed by the beast of the ethereal oak. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, cool viking armor. Good shit. I like it a lot. Anyway, I'm going to make a quick uh, pause here and then we'll continue on for more Painted World escapades. I'm sure this will go amazingly and won't be a clusterfuck. <laughs> 